This video, for all intents and purposes, is actually really valuable. I've been having issues with the car. It runs good, but it's kind of uh, wants to stall, slowing down. Uh, it tries to hunt when it's trying to find its idle. I've had this for months. I've just been too lazy to install it. This is a Dakota Digital uh, inline, not a pass-through style vehicle speed sensor. It's like 28 or 30 bucks online, or go to Summit Racing. They're kind enough to give you four miles of extra wire, and and you can in the harness either you get the you, the red or blue connectors or your uh, green and blue. It's a it should be a green wire. I still have it labeled VSS. Um, some people, some tuners will tell you tell you you can uh, tune out the vehicle speed sensor. You don't need it. Most tell you you do. And the, my tuner tells me I don't need it, but I've been having symptoms that are telling me that, yes, I should install it. Okay, so, guess what? I have an old transmission, and I'm going to show you where this bad boy goes. Like I said, this is not the pass-through. They, the, they make one where you can, uh, they have external threads, male threads, on the back side of it here, so you can hook up your cable. Here's your output for your speedometer. And then usually, I shouldn't say usually, but I keep losing it. They give you an extra shaft, you know, just like your speedometer. Shaft that goes in here, an O-ring. Don't forget the O-ring. And simply, it just screws on. I mean, you want to make sure you got a gap, a quarter inch. You don't want this pushed up all the way here and pushed all the way here. You don't want it to bind. It's pretty simple. That's your vehicle speed sensor. This one does, if I remember correctly, 8,000 or it's eight pulses per revolution, so what is it, you know, 8,000, I don't know. I don't know how they list it. This is a Turbo 350, but it still works the same way on an early, you know, 700, uh, Turbo 350, 200 R, Turbo 400. Two wires, black for your ground, and this tan-ish wire, which converts to a gray wire, goes to your computer. If you are running a newer transmission, uh, like if you're running a 4L60 and you chose to go this route using this as your vehicle speed sensor, why? I don't know you would do that. I was told, not 100%, that you're going to have to reprogram your computer because I think this controls your shift points. But in an older transmission, the computer just needs to know the car is moving. And this will certainly tell the computer the car is moving so it's not stuck in idle mode and you can lose some gas mileage and performance. And that was always my gripe. I think it runs good, but it doesn't run as good as it did when it was carved. Fuel mileage isn't bad, and I've had some idle issues that I can't track down. So, I mean, for 28 bucks and a half hour worth of uh, time to install it, make it nice and pretty, I'm going to give it a shot and see what happens. This video, like I said, it's pretty important, especially for the guys going EFI. Um, you might want to consider it for the price. Just run a vehicle speed sensor. What's it going to hurt? Nothing. So I hope this video, <coughs> excuse me, brings you guys some value and uh, clears up some things. I mean, if you have some running issues, this may, uh, may be the uh, root cause of it all. See you guys later.